Wir Comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today I'm going to show you my low risk money loot run on the new woods expansion in Tarkov 12.9 and we spawned perfectly because this is the new camp which we can loot on woods. This is the new Emercom military camp and as I said this is a live rate to show you live results. So for every loot run it's important or it should be important that you know which items are valuable. So that means you should be or you should have a little bit of experience in, ex in Escape from Tarkov. But let's start with the basic loot guide. You can see how much you can loot over here. And let's make a first check on my stuff. I don't have that much. I know we heard a Mosin close to us but it's not important which is important that we are very quick over here. So we have to loot quite a lot and you can see what we get out of those crates over here. And if you want to be a better gamer, if you want to improve your game experience, do not forget to subscribe to the Inside Gaming channel. We will put tons of Tarkov videos in the next couple days. We get a lot of food over here, but as I said, we have to be a little bit quicker if we have some gunshots close to us and only loot what's valuable. About the valuable items, we will talk on that later on and how you should and how you can loot in Escape from Tarkov because not everything is good at any time, of course. But you can see, especially this corner over here is really very valuable if you're looking for medical supplies and all the MISC items. As I said, this is a live run because in my opinion the loot is a little bit different compared to live or offline raids and you get several stuff out of this crates over here. So I like this new military camp a lot because the stuff here is very good. You have a lot of those bigger crates here and you get every stuff you need, especially as you can see right now, squash is very important for quest. You can all of those, you can loot all of these cigarettes, which are very rare before this patch in my opinion. And you can start collecting them for your quest. We get a lot of medical loot. And I almost forgot this crate over here. And as you can see, I could leave right now because my inventory is completely full. Or almost completely full. So we should check the map. You can go in here and you can usually do some stuff over here. Right now it's nothing there. We have a little bit of ammunition over here. You can check those boxes. And we still have two military crates. And one bigger crate. One is over here. Old perfect. So this is all loot for us. And Sturman is here, but we do not focus on that. We are not going into the bigger camp because people are doing things which they are familiar with. So they will run into the big camp. We are not doing this. Of course we are on a crowded server. This is a little dangerous over here. But as you can see, we don't have that much gear and we can lose it. So right now we did our thing and we are done. As I said, the players spawn over here and over there. So what you should do is try to dodge them by going right into their spawns. Why? Because they will run into the middle of the map. The player will do things they are familiar with, as I said. So what we should do is try to dodge them. This is, this is what I would say it's a little bit dangerous. But as I said, you don't have that much gear what you can lose and right now we are still on profit. What you also can do is wait a little bit because I will wait a little bit to explain my stuff. What I would avoid is only go in with a melee weapon. Why? Because every shotgun scav with buckshot will kill you if you have no armor. That's the reason why I am bringing a pistol with a second magazine. You can drop that magazine, it's not that important. And of course I like to hear where my enemies are, that's why I have this low gear military headset. And of course only bring the necessary stuff with you. As you can see, I've looted so much medical supplies, I'm fine, I'm basically fine, I, I can drop all of my stuff. Valuable items, it's important that you know which items have which or which a certain value. And don't forget the value per slot. For example, this vodka is worth 15k. Of course, you can need it for a trade-up or whatever. But those bolts are right now 
30k or 20k. So of course, if you find more bolts or even condensed milk, because condensed milk is worth 15k to 20k, you can drop this vodka if you find more of those condensed milk. For example, the hand drill, which is a 2x3 item, it's quite big and worth 45k. But of course, as I said, it's a 2x3 item. So let's continue our journey. And as you can see, I've showed you the map where you are. And right now we have to walk a little bit. Before I'm going to show you the new places on woods to loot good stuff, let me explain a little bit about loot runs or looting in Tarkov in general. So for almost every loot run, you should know which items are needed by the people. That means quest items, crafting items, barter items, for gunsmith or for, for whatever. For example, let me show you something. The relay is highly valuable because right now everybody needs them for the hideout. Later on, they, be, they will be worthless. Sugar. Right now, it's a little bit worthless. Only 15 to 20k, but later on, sugar will raise up to 70k. Also, bolts. Right now, 30k, because everybody needs them for their hideout. And that's important. For example, let's continue with squash. Squash is 30k, because you need it as a crafting item for your hideout to craft two Tuchanka. That's why this is so, so expensive. And again, you can hear the shots in the camp. Those shots are far away because Sturman is fighting against players because the players run into the camp because they only know the camp. Right now we can climb up this hill, the Sniper Mountain. And if you climbed up this hill, you can see we have a bigger crate which is already looted. It's not that important because only one crate. And from here you can make a little check if some player is over here. So it's nothing there. And you could continue if you're on a less crowded server or if you have a good spot, you can run to the sniper mountain and you can loot the bunker over there. So we got information, a player was here, so we are leaving this place. And again, if you're doing loot runs, bring always a pistol if you have maybe a lower armor. You can save if you don't have that much space, maybe one or two bad armors which you can bring into a raid, bring a small rig and a small backpack or a scuff backpack. You can loot so much of them, just keep them in your stash and go with at least something in your gear because right now I can defend myself against scavs, I'm dodging players, I'm not going into a fight because I want to loot and I don't want to go into combat. As you can see the scav over here, he's running around, right now I can peek him because I have my pistol, I like the M9 because I like the sights. Oh man, the scaf is... The scaf is motivated and right now we are in the new village. And you can look around, you can loot elite players. Early state of the wipe, 50k. You can use them as a trade up and right now we can hear steps close to us. So we should check that out because I guess it's a scaf, he's not moving that much. And of course we can defend ourselves with our pistol. But as you can see in this new village you can loot almost every house. And you have a lot of tech stuff and technical loot for your hideout. Oh yes, it's a scav. There we go. Perfect. We killed the scav. Shouldn't worry about it. We can grab a new helm. And always check pockets and backpacks from scavs. We are still fine. Yellow pliers, you need them for trade up, hand drill, nippers. So I want keep that long over here. I want just to show you where you can loot. And almost nobody is looting here because they think nothing is here. Only players which spawned here will loot this area because they're not familiar with this area over here. So I will throw some stuff away because you can see what we got here. Car kit, we don't need that. Hand drill, duct tape, perfect. And you can see how much stuff is around here. Oh, that's perfect, guys. Okay, we don't need old flakes, gunpowder. We don't need the cigarettes because I finished the quest. And we get more stuff. So sugar, again, sugar, dry fuel. Throw it away. So this is a paradise. First of all, we're going upstairs, checking around. We don't care about the scav. Let's come back to the value per slot. Right now I know the hand drill is about 30 or 40k. I can drop it or I can use it for my hideout. The hideout depends on you, but I don't need the paracord. That's why I'm dropping the paracord and I'm taking the wreck battery, but I dropped it because I'm a little bit stupid. But you know what I mean? Okay, we usually could pick up the red battery, uh, the wreck battery. 
Check some mech. We made some shots. All right. About a half. Should be fine for the skiff. We are still fine. And you can see we took a shot. It's okay. We have a lot of medical stuff. And even if we don't find some medical supplies, we are still fine. And as I said, we can loot the skiff. So Alionka, two Alionka is one sugar. We can loot that because they will be expensive later on. And right now we can make a level up with the gear from the scaf. He has a, or had a better rig. We can pick up the AK. Perfect, let's continue. I'm not looting every house for this video right now because you saw what you can get out there. So guys, let me know in the comments how you like a live loot run because I'm not a big fan of offline results because in my opinion, offline results are a little bit different. Yes, this may video is maybe a bit longer, but it's a live result of my loot run on wood. So it would be nice if you type in the comments what you thought or what you think about this loot run. In my opinion, this method should be clear. Just try to avoid fights and go in the new area of woods. I will show you the map and I made a woods guide that you can orientate yourself at any time. So you can see the river is over here. This is the one border of the map and you can see the sniper mountain which is right here and the sniper mountain is the middle of the map. That means you are or that means you know where you are anytime. You know where you are at any time especially if you're using my map guide. So on top of the passage between the rocks you have this small hidden stash and you should always loot these hidden stashes because the loot in there is incredible. Right now I'm not going to the sniper mount because I already saw players have been there and we are continuing with our low risk loot run. It's on daytime so we don't have to fear about cultists which are over there and we will check out the new marked circle. So this one is the new smaller camp. We have some scaffs over here and we have a new marked circle. Of course we will check out the marked circle. So this is the new marked circle. In this wipe I didn't found that much loot over, here, over there. Some horses and that's it basically. If you find better loot let me know. But it's not that bad because right over there there's a new camp which you can also loot. The only thing you have to do is follow the road to orientate yourself or maybe besides of the road to not get spotted so quickly. And just another tip, if you picked up a new weapon, always check the magazines if they are empty or which kind of ammo they've loaded. So on top of this hill, you can't miss it really, is this new smaller camp. And let's check out what we got here. We've got this wooden crate, pineapple juice, we can use it. Always keep hydrated guys. Oh, we have a player over here. Oh no, it's a scaf. So it's fine. I've never saw... So this is the first scaf I've seen so far over here. But it's okay, it's basically free loot. We found some BS ammunition, which is great. We don't need that, Just drop it away. Red gunpowder, perfect. So this is the perfect area if you want to find all items for your trade-ups, which is the perfect source for loot. Nothing, it's fine. Over here we have this small grenade case and ammunition case. Fuse, you can pick it up for a trade-up. We have this wooden crate over here. And you can still see how much loot we have. Perfect new helmet, I like that. Ambus rear sight, perfect for gunsmith. Let's continue. And from this camp you can see our next spot over here. And I will guarantee you guys, nobody looted that spot. Because they don't not know where they are. So as I said, that's not looted. So we have this wooden crate over here. This crate over here and a bunker. More BS ammunition, which is perfect. Um, wreck battery, ammunition. And let's go into the bunker and you can loot a lot over here. 30k for the whiskey, more bolts, perfect. I do not need my mech, I could reload my sidearm, but it's fine. We have the AK. Nice. I'm so stuffed, guys. Bolts, more bolts, bolts are important. They are worth so much right now. Tushanka, which is worth 20k. Oh, look at that, two helix. I'm not sure if anything else can spawn here. That's interesting. I will drop that away for two helix. So this is a maybe a bit more risky over here because this is the quest convoy and a lot of snipers are laying over here. 
You can avoid it, but I will show you what you can loot over here. So this is a loot run. I will show you your opportunities. Yes, and it's looted because you can see the crate is open over here. So right now we saw basically one half of the map. I will make a different approach from the other side of the map that you can imagine how a different spawn would look like. So right now we have a different approach. A lot of guys are spawning right here. We have the same setup, small rig, small pistol, and they are spawning right here. This is a perfect example to show you the different approach. You can see those high voltage power supply lines and you can see this trash stuff over here and you can see this road. So outskirts is right there and right here we have the new loot camp. This spawn is perfect. It's one of the best spawns for the money run. So what you should do is basically follow this trash and go to the mountains and you have this new camp. And just follow the path but don't go too far over here because mines are over there. I will show them to you in a sec. But let's check the loot. You have this big crate over here. These big crates are perfect spot for loot. You have every different stuff. As you can see, screws. You have this weapon crate over here. You have stuff laying around, bigger weapon crate. And you can loot this car over here. You can still follow the path and you have again a bigger crate over here. You have this weapon crate over there. Outside of the tent you have stuff laying around here. And right now go on the rocks but don't go down there. As I said I will show that to you in a second. I will skip a little bit and I will show you that after afterwards you can loot stuff laying around here. From sugar up to the optimal scope, everything. You can loot a lot of medical supplies from this table. But we also have normal crates, like this weapon crate, stuff over here. We have this bigger weapon crate over there. A big weapon crate. And that's basically it for the camp. So, and from now on, you can follow the road to the convoy and do the opposite like we did from the first perspective. It was important for me to show you both sides. And right now I will show you the mines because they are very dangerous and they are everywhere. So you see this body over here. Oh yeah, you can loot it. Oh, hi. I'm fine till right now. Oh, nice. I can loot this body. But you will see how dangerous this area is. So you're continuing moving around. We're going down there. And there we go, first mine. You're still alive, but it's hard to get out of this minefield right now. Maybe you're turning back or whatever. Or maybe you are still surviving this and there's a second mine. And that's basically it for you. So guys, let me know what you think about this woods loot run. It really depends on your risk, how much you want to go into the middle of the map. Of course, you can loot or fight Stormen, you can make the Sniper Scaf, and you can loot the Ordmark Circle. But as I said, this is the low risk version. Stick on the outside of the map and you can see how much loot you can get. If you don't like this live loot run rates, let me know that, it's very important for me. But I will always show you some live results. Maybe I will show you some live footage and I will, maybe I will show it in the video during the offline rate. But as I said, let me know what you think about it. And if you like what you see, do not forget to leave a like to this video to show the world we Germans can have at least something. And if you like, it would be awesome to show it to the people out there. See you next video, guys. Bye.